Today I'm going to show you a, a, another variation on this problem of Windows not being able to check for updates or Windows updates not, not working. Uh, as you can see I have a red X on mine. So I'm going to click on check, uh, check for updates and it will give you this error. Windows update cannot currently check for updates because the service is running. You may need to restart your computer. Okay so we go and check services. And so we go to Windows uh, computer and click on manage. I have made about two or three videos on this problem because there's variations on how to fix it. So this is like the third variation on this problem. I wait for my management console to come up. Okay, there it is. Now go down to services here. And the problem is pretty, pretty well the same issue, uh, just different variations. Uh, okay, so we'll go down and you'll see that the bits uh, service is missing. Background intelligent uh, uh, service is missing, which is one of the services that actually uh, makes Windows Update work and then there's the other service which is Windows Update which is also missing okay so this this will this solution will fix both those problems plus one more okay and I'll show you what the one more is now the solution for fixing those problems is usually running this Microsoft fix uh, 50202.msi file which I will post the link to in the description Okay, so let's run it, and I'll click on Agree, Next, Next. Now normally this would fix it, but sometimes what will happen is, is what I'm going to show you here, which is another issue you need to fix before this fix will work. So you need a fix for the fix. This program creates a, a uh, restore point right now. Windows is asking me, my user account control is saying, do you want to allow the following program to install this software? Now, you probably don't see that on the screen. For some reason, my screen capture program doesn't pick that up. Click yes if it pops up. And it goes through its routine. Now normally, this would fix your Windows Update issue, okay, normally. But somehow, some people's registries are getting corrupted, and uh, the, the registry entries that are required to fix this problem by this program can't be modified. So I'll show you how, what happens when that happens. There you go. Service, B-I-T-S or BITS, failed to start. Verify you have a sufficient privileges to start the system services. Okay, so it's some sort of permission. You hit cancel on this. And it says, are you sure you want to cancel? Yes. And I'm going to close that up. I'll shut this down too here. The next thing you need is another program called uh, from tweaking.com that is a registry permission uh, reset program. And I'll set, I'll, I'll post a link to this program on the description as well as you need both the Microsoft fix and this to fix it so we're gonna double click that program first you're gonna go and get it and download it and then double click it my user account control right now is saying do you want to allow the following program uh, from an unknown publisher to make changes to this, to this computer I'm gonna say yes note that I have anti spyware and anti virus software running in this computer already so this passes Okay. Once you get to this point, click on start, and the program will begin to you know processing your your registry permissions. I'm going to let this go for a while, and uh, 
do its entire run. And that takes about uh, five minutes or ten minutes at the most. And uh, but you know uh, we don't need to watch that. So uh, I'll pick this up on the other side or when it's finished. Okay, the program's finished its run. Uh, although it says, you know, it's not saying finished here, or it still says stop. If you look down here at the summary, it says total repair time, uh, 3 minutes, 29 uh, seconds. So that's how you know it's done. So basically, that's a much, it's kind of a quirk with this program, but it basically uh, doesn't really tell you it's finished other than, right here total repair time okay once you see that and you know and you see done here um, then this program is finished at that point you click the X and then basically it says uh, may not have stalled properly you know doesn't matter just hit cancel on this it doesn't really need to be in your computer you just need to run that portion of it once you do that the uh, problem is solved. So I'm going to hit cancel here. Okay, so we ran the tweaking.com uh, reset registry program, uh, res registry permissions program, and then I rebooted the computer. Next thing I'm going to do is run this Microsoft Fix It uh, 520202ms.msi. Again, uh, once again, you get security warning, hit run, and then agree, then next. Don't run the aggressive options as it's dangerous and it doesn't work anyway. Then it creates a restore point and we go from there. Okay, I get my security warning. I'm just going to click yes. You probably don't see it, but just hit yes. We'll wait. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. Okay, seems to be moving right along. And Microsoft Fix It has been processed. Notice that this time we didn't get any permission issues. So the Fix It, I'm going to hit close here. And then it says you must restart your system, your, your system for the configuration changes to, to take effect. Okay, at this point, I'm going to hit I'm going to uh, restart the computer uh, and come back and show you that uh, Microsoft Windows updates is working. Okay, that's a, this is the second and final reboot on this. Uh, now we'll go check our Windows update so Windows uh, button then go to all programs Windows update and as you can see we're now green okay and if we check for updates it will actually do so alright so that's how you fix Windows updates uh, using the Microsoft fix it tool and the uh, a permissions tool if you're having a problem with permissions okay now note like I said not responsible for anything that happens with your computer I would also suggest if this happens to you that you do run a full virus scan uh, and there you go it says no important updates available three optional updates are, are there so it's working um, so at this point I would say you know be careful but if this happens to you I'd have to ask myself why so do a full virus scan anti spyware anti malware uh, scan uh, I have videos on how to do all those things uh, I suggest using a vast antivirus that's what I use it's free uh, and uh, I have a video on how to install it and how to uh, register it so that you can have it free for 365 days and beyond okay so I'll put the links for all this stuff in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope this helped you out.